Hello, I'm Daniel Reed of the University of Leeds uh, in the Mathematics Department and today I'm going to talk to you about first order linear differential equations and how to solve them. So the first thing to say is what is a first order differential equation? Um, well, a differential equation is an equation involving uh, derivatives like uh, dy by dx or uh, d2y by dx squared. Uh, but what do we mean by first order and linear? Well, first order... First order means that, uh, that there are no higher derivatives in there than dy by dx. So it means uh, dy by dx is the highest derivative. Uh, that means you won't have anything like d2y by dx squared or d3y by dx cubed or anything like that in your differential equation. Um, what do we mean by linear? By linear, we mean that uh, the terms, let's just say linear, um, by linear, we mean that uh, terms like y and dy by dx um, are um, occurring as linear expressions. So by that, we mean not anything like y squared or dy by dx or cubed or sine of y or e to the power of dy by dx or anything else that would be nonlinear. Okay, so it's, first of all, dy by dx is the highest derivative. That means it's first order um, and nothing like y squared dy by dx or cubed or anything like that. Um, because uh, that would mean it would be uh, a nonlinear equation. Okay, so taking all that, then taking all that, then the most general expression uh, that you can have, which would be a first order linear differential equation, is dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x, where p of x is some general function of x and q of x is a function of x. So this is the most general expression, dy by dx plus p of x times y is equal to q of x, where p of x and q of x are both functions of x. And there are various methods you might try to use to, to solve this, uh, but I'm going to talk mainly about uh, the most general one, which is using integrating factors. Um, and then I will say a little bit at the end about another way you might approach uh, solving an equation like this, uh, which is uh, about complementary functions and particular integrals. But first of all, let's talk about integrating factors. And by an integrating factor, I mean we're going to multiply this equation all the way through by uh, uh, a function of x. And the function of x we're going to choose is e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. And as we'll see, this does wonderful things to this equation, which will help us to solve it. Uh, but rather than going through the general theory as to why this particular integrating factor is the right choice, it's best to proceed by examples. And so what we'll do is we'll do several examples of first order differential equations uh, that we're going to try and solve. So the first uh, differential equation we're going to solve is a really simple one. It's dy by dx plus 2y is equal to x. And you can look at this differential equation and you say, well, it's, it's first order because the highest deriv derivative is dy by dx. And you can say it's linear because dy by dx is appearing as a linear factor and y is appearing as a, as a linear factor. Okay, and you can also look at this and say, well, uh, it's of the, the general form we wrote down earlier. And uh, so p of x is equal to 2 and q of x is equal to x. 
So the idea we have is we're going to multiply through by our integrating factor. So the integrating factor... is equal to, and we said it's e to the power of the integral of p of x dx. Well, p of x is 2, so it's e to the integral of 2 dx. And the integral of a constant is a very easy integral to do. Um, we should know how to do that. So this is e to the power of 2x. Uh, normally, when you do integrals, you put an integrating constant in here, uh, but uh, for the purposes of integrating factors, you never need to put the integrating constant just for this integral. OK, so we're going to multiply our original equation through by our integrating factor. Uh, so let's do that. And I think I'll do it up here. So we multiply each and every term through by the integrating factor. And we say that uh, the first term becomes e to the power of 2x dy by dx. And the next term is 2 e to the power of 2x times y. And then the right-hand side also gets in multiplied through by the integrating factor. So that's x times e to the 2x. And I hope you can see that up there. Um, so we've not done anything to the equation. All we've done is we've just multiplied every term in the equation through by the same thing. So what does that do to us, do for us? So what does that do for us? Well, what it does for us is it means that the left-hand side can be written in a very easy way. When, when you multiply through by an integrating factor, um, the left-hand side can always now be written as d by dx of y times the integrating factor. And the integrating factor is e to the power of 2x. And the right-hand side stays as it is. Now, every time you use an integrating factor, you'll be able to do this. You, multiply, you rewrite the left-hand side of the equation as y times the integrating factor. And if you want to convince yourself that this works, the thing to do is just to simply m differentiate the left-hand side again. Uh, um, just to simply differentiate the left-hand side again um, using the product rule. Uh, so you can see we're doing d by dx of a product of two things, y and e to the 2x. So if we differentiate the left-hand side, let's just write that over here, we get d by dx of y multiplied by e to the 2x. And um, we also get plus y times what we get when we differentiate e to the 2x. If we differentiate e to the 2x, we get 2e to the 2x. So you can see that what we've got here is exactly the same as what we had up there. So if you ever want to convince yourself that you've got the right integrating factor, just differentiate this back out again and, and see how it goes. OK, so what's this done to us? It done for us. What has this done for us? Uh, what it's done is it means we can, um, we can now integrate through this differential equation uh, by integrating with respect to x. On the left-hand side, we've got d by dx of something is equal to something else. If we've got d by dx of something is equal to something else, then that means we can integrate this, uh, and we integrate the right-hand side, uh, and, and we've got a solution to our equation. So if we integrate the left-hand side, we just get y e to the 2x. And then we integrate the right-hand side. That becomes integral of x e to the 2x dx. So you can see we're nearly there. OK, so we've got our differential equation into the form y e to the 2x is equal to the integral of x e to the 2x dx. OK, so we've got an integral here on the right-hand side uh, that we've got to do. And now this podcast isn't about how to do uh, complicated integrals, so I won't spend a long time over it. But if you look at it closely, you can see that this is an integral that you can do using the method of integration by parts. Uh, so I'll do that very quickly for you now. Uh, so on the left-hand side, we have y e to the 2x. And on the right-hand side, we need to do uh, this integral by parts. And uh, the first term you're going to get is x times a half e to the 2x minus what you get when you differentiate the x, which is 1, uh, multiplied by what we get when we integrate the e to the 2x, which is a half e to the 2x dx. OK, and so uh, finally, we've got y e to the 2x is equal to uh, x over 2 
e to the 2x minus, and then we need to do this integral again, so that's going to bring down another factor of 2. So we've got a quarter um, e to the 2x. And then we mustn't forget our integrating constant. That's very important. Let me just check I did that right. Yes, I did. That's good. OK, um, so finally, the last thing to do is we need to uh, divide the whole equation through by the integrating factor e to the 2x. And I'm going to need to clear myself a bit of space on the board to do that. So let's get rid of all this stuff. OK, so we, we divide this equation through by e to the 2x, and we get y which is what we're trying to look for. We're trying to look for a solution to this differential equation uh, is equal to x over 2 from this term. Divide this through by e to the 2x, we get minus a quarter. And then we've got our integrating constant, which we also need to divide through by the integrating, fa by the, uh, integrating factor. So that's plus c. And then you divide through by e to the 2x, we get e to the power of minus 2x. OK, and this then is the general solution here of this uh, first order linear differential equation.